again. Uh, all right, so we've got the fence drill. These are, to me, like magic. This is like gold to me, the wiffle ball. And uh, if you don't just take my word for it, you know, you can give uh, Tony Gwynn and people like that a ring and find out how, how big of a part these wiffle balls in this tool right here played in, in the success of somebody who's played, you know, 20 years in the majors and has a lifetime batting average of, you know, in the 330s. It's amazing over, over that many years of, of play. However, what we do, number one, is we stress that these are safe, okay? They're, uh, they're a lot safer than putting a tennis ball out there in front of a bunch of kids. They're, they're, uh, they're plastic, they're filled with, uh, with, with nothing, okay? So they travel a whole lot slower. Bear with us, we have an airplane going over, so we're gonna pause just, just to say, okay, we're back again, sorry. I mean, the days we wanna do the, uh, the DVD, the uh, airplanes are, are all out in, uh, in flight. Okay, re, um, reiterating the uh, the safety of the of the wiffle ball. Okay, this you know stings a little if it hits somebody, but it's not going to harm them. Okay, so it's a real safe tool. It's PE teachers, I swear, I, I swear by this in, in the gyms. Okay, when I was uh, teaching in the in the schools, they uh, we had so many games that we just kind of created with the tee ball, uh, the 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 batting tee, and the wiffle balls. Okay, what I like about these uh, folks is being able to pair kids up and. Uh, you know, maybe two or three out there fielding, shagging balls. One of them out here uh, uh, placing balls on the tee for the hitter, okay, and the hitter uh, being able to refine his swing, okay. The key is not just to get up there and take swings, okay, because, um, you know, that's not going to do us any good. The way you've got to do this drill is you've got to have the kids familiar with the spin of the ball and, and looking for the different spins on the ball, okay. It's very self-explanatory. If we hit a ball and the spin is backwards and it flies up in the air, obviously we swung under the ball. Okay, so we're dropping our hands. We swing, you know, over the top of it, it's going to go straight to the ground, and, and it's a topped ball. So we can cure that. Okay, same thing with slices and, 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 and big hooks, okay? But the best thing you, uh, is you set this somewhere um, in a neutral position. Then you can also take it and, and start to move it around so that we are emulating hitting pitches on the outside of the plate, inside of the plate, and so on. Okay, so what we do is we set them up, okay? I'm not gonna hit very many guys, I'm gonna let you do that, okay? And, and we get the hitter in a good, comfortable position, okay? And we do the, we break it down again. We go one, two, and then make contact with the, with the ball. We look at our batters, we look at our hitters, we see if they're making eye contact, if they're watching the ball flat, uh, et cetera, okay? If they're swinging over it. If you could have seen the one that I just hit, uh, uh, it went straight ahead. I mean, hardly any spin, and that's what we want is a knuckleball coming straight at you with no spin, okay? The kids truly got into it. So, again, teach them to drill, teach them to watch, and to be responsible enough to watch and get something out of that drill. They're going to go a long way and, and again, becoming uh, the complete player. Uh, we'll get back to you with some more drills in the, in the bonus section for the, uh, in the uh, coaches edition, and uh, we'll get on to the next lesson. Thanks.